हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम हेयर फॉर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मल्टी लेवल मेटलाइजेशन एंड प्लेनराइजेशन सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मल्टी लेवल मेटलाइजेशन फॉलोइंग फ्लाइट स्लाइड्स हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड नाउ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ मल्टी लेवल मेटलाइजेशन पैरामीटर्स ऑफ मल्टी लेवल मेटलाइजेशन कॉमन मेटल एटम फ्लक्स डाइवर्जेंस मैकेनिज्म आफ्टरवर्ड्स वी आर हैविंग इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्लेनराइजेशन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्लेनराइजेशन गिव्स that uh, planarized interconnect process is very popular due to due to top convergence of several factors in order to convert a non planarized interconnect to planarized interconnect we have to follow large design rules for minimum pitch that results in increasing the number of required interconnect layers now after this we would we would have oxide h h back planarization process as shown in the diagram from the very first point of this h process the first step first a thick oxide is deposited over a patterned metal layer next a layer of photoresis is deposited over the wafer then the wafer is put into plasma h system the h is done until most of the resist have been removed then a second layer of oxide is deposited finally another h back cycle can also be run if required now after this process we are having damascene process damascene process uh, follows the fo uh, given steps whatever the steps are there are first the interlayer dielectric is h and isotropically next a thin bar barrier metal such as ti ta tin a or tan is deposited third then copper is deposited to a thickness greater than oxide recess filling the trenches finally excess copper is removed by cmp cmp stands for chemical mechanical polishing and ild here stands for interlayer dielectric damascene process are of two types single damascene dual damascene as shown in figure ild is first h down to previous metal layer the the wire is filled and excess is removed by cmp next the interconnect recess is patterned and etched and a second copper copper fill and cmp are done cmp here stands for chemical mechanical polishing alternatively both via and line recess can be done before carrier deposition this process has disadvantage that this has a small feature and via must be patterned in the bottom of the interconnect recess for small wires which can be this can be extremely challenging copper can be deposited in a variety of way but plating and ionized metal plasma pvd are preferred for damascene process for plating process a thin copper seed layer have to be deposited on the top of the barrier metal to initiate plating it has the problem with deposition uniformly now this is the this is the end of damascene processes single damascene damascene and dual damascene thank you